it's a completely imagining another person's uh, life, but it's also that kind of person that you know. In February, we will we'll be playing in Denmark a lot and Sweden, mm -hmm. and after that, in Germany. Mm -hmm. Where do you get the warmest reception? Mm, I don't know. I think it's everywhere, pretty much. Like, it's weird. Like, lang uh, countries are are different in many ways. But I think with with audiences and if there's like a certain style of music, like my music maybe attracts a certain style of people. Or I don't know. That sounds really stupid, but I think that it there's this sort of um, community feeling. With, with music and going to shows, um, that is quite quite common, you know, in in in, in Europe. It's kind of the same. even though you know, countries like Finland are very different, and and also Italy. Like there's definitely like a difference in in the blood or something. What what, what, what what is it? What is the difference? Um, <clears throat> well, just the culture. I mean, in Finland, it's pretty cool. Uh, people are, are extremely. Um, non-verbal, you know, it's just like <laughs> and I don't want to recess anything and then, you know, after you're like, hey, that was really good, thank you, you know, like, oh, really, you liked it all, cool, you know, <laughs> you can never tell. Mm. And in Italy they're really outgoing? Or something yeah, like this that? is like this more warm-blooded, warm you know, yeah. <laughs> Southern Europe. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I would like to ask some questions about freight train because we're mm -hmm. al also doing a thing called on the record in which we discuss one one particular mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you remember where you wrote that, where and when? Yeah, I wrote it in Nashville, Nashville, mm. and it's it was actually also one of the last sort of uh, last additions to 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 the to the record. Um, the freight train thing is very American, uh, also because of the the whole thing, the team. Like it's very American to have that dream about hopping on a freight train and going to the next city. It's like an old vagabond hobo thing. Jack Kerouac. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's 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 that sort of ideal, the part of the American can dream. So that sort of sets the story, and then it just started with the line. I never rode a freight train, you know, it really says everything that is in, in the song. And it wasn't that, it's one of those things that once you have a really good idea, then it's not, doesn't take so long to finish it, like, and just finish the song in a day, and then that's it. Recording as well? Uh, no, recording is different, like, also in a song like that, it's the kind of perfect song to, to arrange, you know, afterwards, you think, Okay, so this is the story. Um, what other dimensions can we bring with with instruments? And I know, of course, the obvious thing is to make the train rhythms, you know, with the with the brushes and and uh, the organ that screams with the, the like the, the what's it called the rails. And then when we sing the word freight train, is the the clarinets to do the the horn, you know, the freight horn. Or, <laughs> you know, it's kind of an obvious thing, but uh, but it's really sort of fun, you know, to do those th do those things. It's a, a quite a traditional song in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's it's a little bit like those kind of '70s Americana songs in some ways. It has some kind of uh, relation to that, but it also feels like a very very old school songwriter song. You know, it, it tells a a story from from childbirth to someone getting old. You know. Is it your story? Are you telling your own story? Uh, no, it's no, it's not. Uh, it's 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 a it's one of those rare cases where it's a completely imagining another person's uh, life. But it's also that kind of person that you know. You know, everybody knows that person, the one who did all the right things, and and he wishes that he he did more crazy things. You know that he he got drunk in Spain and found the wrong woman and went crazy with the wrong woman or you know something like I, I think everybody knows that but I do relate the way I the way I relate to the song mostly is is to think about my father like the things that he did in his life that he wanted me to do because I certainly did do the wild things you know I, I certainly went and saw the world and uh, I mean I think he, he definitely is also well-traveled and so on but 
I think that he feels maybe that I did a lot of things that he wished that he did. Because he, he took the education, he got married and moved back to the Pharaohs. And, Is he the know. company man? Or are you the company man? No, he's the, yeah, that's the, that, that's the question. I don't feel like a part of a company, man. I, I have, well, I have my own record company. It's not like a small company. It's not really a cooperative, crazy company like <laughs> SO or something. Yeah, I, I, nev I never kissed a wrong girl, the, the, the wrong girl at the right time. Yeah. That's also a nice, a nice one. Yeah, you know, because you can kiss, you know, you can... There's a time in your life when you maybe feel that you could have gone with the crazy girl or whatever, you know. You, I think if you were always with the right person, you would probably feel that, man, I wish I, I'd, I'd slept with a, you know, a crazy girl or whatever, you know. Uh, or just like the hot, sexy one, I don't know, whatever. I think everyone sort of secretly has that wish, but it has to be at the right time, you know? It can't be in the middle of a relationship, or... I think that's kind of a... Yeah, perhaps there everyone has that moment where they think... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should have done it, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once I had the chance. Yeah.